One of the challenges in working with heritage knowledge and um, on action learning pathways to more sustainable lifestyles is the question of how do we include competence um, and competence assessment. Competences and working with competence has come out fairly recently through UNESCO and it's a very useful specifying framework that suggests that systems thinking, anticipatory competence, normative, strategic, collaboration, critical thinking, greater self-awareness and problem solving are really important aspects in the um, engagement with matters of concern through the acquisition of knowledge and through the participation in an ESD learning process. And what has become really apparent is that cultural and personal competences develop um, a heritage of knowing and life experience as the knowledge, dispositions and aesthetics enable us to <clears throat> want to know things okay, in relation to context and concerns. And that's where indigenous knowledge comes out, being um, a knowledge that is context-based and that engages with the concerns. And here in quadrant one, what can be known and understood together becomes uh, an important uh, area. And then with knowledge and knowing things comes a developing know-how to be able to resolve concerns. And <clears throat> this understanding and applying concepts, critically evaluating concerns and being able to deliberate better ways of doing things together begins to develop as the learning program expands. And the teachers that we've been working with, and myself as a teacher, find it very difficult to work with these competences. So what we did is we found that critical systems modeling, which happens across quadrant one and two into quadrant three, as the learners take up more agency, begins to look at systems thinking, critical thinking and problem solving, all as competences that are necessary for the students to acquire as the learning program develops. And then to be able to, the agency of being able to do things begins to develop as they start in um, quadrant two and into quadrant three and quadrant four to look at more sustainable ways of being together. So they're acquiring knowledge and through participation, they're able to apply this knowledge. And here, this follows through to trying out and assessing sustainable ways of being. And here we found that reflexive modes of action was a useful bracketing of these, where you get anticipation as the participants are able to anticipate things together, um, normative, strategic, being able to plan things, collaboration, being able to work together, and self-awareness beginning to reflect individually and as a group. Um, and this was very important for us to be able to plan um, a learning program. We always found ourselves starting with knowing in the story sharing. Um, what do we know? How can we begin to build um, a know-how based on the heritage, the knowledge that we've brought in from ancestors and from history. And then how does that know-how contribute to being able to do certain things, being able to make amachew, being able to make choices and what is the best thing to do. So we found that this clustering of competences and in, in our assessment work, both um, assessment for learning and um, in the assessment of learning competences as these develop.